guys, it's Delicracy here and today I am voicing over a build with a face cam because I thought I would do this for a change and I already had everything set up because I was recording some Resident Evil. So I was like, yeah, may as well say hello to you guys in person and uh, yeah, just have a little bit of a chin wag while we're here. Uh, but anyways, for this build, I am working on an apartment build for my Barbie LP. If you guys haven't watched that before, um, basically there's some characters in it that are Barbie and Ken's kids. And one of them is called Topaz. He married a girl called Nita and they've had three kids, uh, one teenager, Lamasi, and two toddlers. Uh, oh no, I've forgotten their names. Anarchy and... Oh God, there's so many kids to remember. I've forgotten their names. But anyways, there's two toddlers. So because their families expanded, we had to kind of move them into a new place. And a lot of you guys said, why don't we move them into a city apartment? So that's what we're decorating right now or renovating rather. And I really like this apartment because it's modern, but it also kind of brings into it the character of Topaz and Nita being kind of indie and boho. Um, Topaz, he's a comedian or an entertainer. So I thought it makes sense for him to want to move to the city. He's closer to his parents to help bring up the family. And yeah, I don't know. I, this is actually one of my favorite uh, apartments that I've done. So I hope you guys like it. So yeah, and right now we've just kind of put in the basics, you know, the wallpaper, some tiles. I thought earthy brown colors and creams would be good for them and would suit them because as lame as it sounds, <laughs> they are down to earth people. So I've literally made them very, very down to earth uh, in terms of their color scheme. And whilst it looks a bit bland and plain right now, once we furnish it, we introduce a lot of furniture that's from the, uh, was it the movie? stuff pack that had all the boho kind of stuff with all the bright patterns once we introduce that it becomes really nice and uh yeah I like it. I like it a lot but I've got to say since getting back from Boston while I was away in the U.S. I have really really enjoyed just sitting on the sims doing some building I did that big Boston apartment build which was a big one to get done and I live streamed a lot of it so that was really good and then doing this apartment, I kind of just smashed it out and enjoyed every every bit of it. Often I get asked if I ever get sick of The Sims because I record it almost every day for you guys. And the honest truth is, no, I have never. Yeah, I have never been sick of The Sims. I've played it my whole life since The Sims 1. Sims 2, Sims 3, now Sims 4, and I am just obsessed. It is like brushing my teeth. I need it. <laughs> I need it to, to look after myself, <laughs> essentially. My family used to actually call it my happy place uh, whenever I was, like if I was upset from a bad day at school or something like that, or stressed at uni, they'd be like, oh, Maddie, because my real name's Maddie, do you want to maybe go to your happy place? <laughs> it's kind of like when your parents or when you see parents at a restaurant just giving their kids iPads to play on just to kind of shut them up. I think my parents kind of use The Sims as the quick way to make me happy again. It's quite funny. So this is pretty much the final color scheme coming into play right now. Uh, we have that kind of sandy cream color, which was working a lot better I think than the dark browns otherwise it was becoming a little bit closed in and cramped I think uh, so lighter colors on the walls just makes it um, you know a little bit more spacious and lighter and makes the space seem a bit bigger that's why I generally like uh, really white walls personally because I just think it looks nice amongst some feature walls as well and then uh, the kitchen is a little bit tricky. I really, really, really would like some new counters, but oh, yeah, I don't know. I think the biggest issue I have with a lot of the counters in this game is the textures. Like this countertop that we've just used, 
it's so plain. Like, I don't know what kind of texture that would be in real life. It's not really a texture. It's just like a computer flat color. So that kind of bothers me a lot. I guess underneath the bench top, it's okay. But on top of it, I want either a timber top or a marble stone top, or I want to see the texture so it seems more real. And that wooden cabinet, I mean, that's quite nice. That's good that there's a bit of texture on that. Uh, so yeah, I'm hoping that we do get some more counters. That's probably something I'm really hanging out for. And I imagine that Topaz and Nita would do a lot of cooking, a lot of family cooking. So right now uh, I'm adding lots of cooking tools like spoons and I don't know, what do you call those things? Hanging ladles and whatnot. Uh, a few condiments and some basil plants, maybe basil plants. I'm just kidding. If you guys saw the Boston build, you might get that reference. But <laughs> uh, and I also thought it suited them to have a few things that aren't very new looking. So you would have just seen on the shelf there, there were some older and vintage looking mugs with wooden spoons and stuff in them. I thought that was kind of nice. Uh, and then just popping in some lighting. Yeah, and then for a little while we have these tiles, but we're actually going to change them to a much nicer mosaic -y tile that I think just really transforms the kitchen and actually makes it one of my favorite kitchen color schemes. Once we put that in, then I'm happy because right now I'm not a huge fan of those tiles. Don't know about you guys, but for me, no thank you. I would not have those in my house. Mm -mm. And then, yeah, there had to be lots of plants and greenery because this family is down to earth, excuse the pun, but also they are, they like this simple life. They're not like Barbie and Ken who are all glam, glamorous, wealthy. I mean, clearly they're comfortable because of their family's money, but they're not wanting to show it off heaps. They prefer to just have a nice homely home and for you Americans, potentially you Canadians as well, homely means something different in Australia. I think homely is like not a nice thing to say uh, in America about someone's home. But here it means inviting and warm and friendly. <laughs> so that's always, I know in, in past videos, some of you guys have commented and been like, I don't think you know what that word means, but I do. I do. Uh, I also love this rug. I've been waiting to use this rug for ages. I just love it. Uh, I don't know. I think it works perfectly in this build once we put in the different furniture. There's a lot of clashing patterns, a few clashing colors, uh, but because everything kind of clashes together, I think it, I think it kind of works. And then I wanted there to be a really distinct TV cabinet area. So we actually make proper uh, storage around the TV, which I don't actually do very often in The Sims. I've seen a lot of other builders do it and I was like, yeah, I think I think I want to do this in this house because we had a lot of wall space to fill up and those columns just kind of worked. Uh, lots of random mixed paintings on the walls. And I think Lamassi is going to grow up to be creative. That's Topaz and Nita's daughter. I think she's going to do a lot of painting that we can hopefully decorate the apartment with over time. That would be really nice. And then that couch was just too modern. So I grabbed these ones and I was like, yes, I love it. I love the blue cushions. Uh, I am so glad we have a slightly more plain colorway in those couches because a lot of them have a lot of pattern going on. Uh, so I was very happy about that to just have something more neutral that could tie in easily to the sandy colors on the wall. And the only thing I kind of had trouble with was picking the wall lighting. I didn't really like any of the wall lighting options here. So I was trying heaps of different ones. I was like, oh, I don't know about that. So we end up using these, which kind of, I don't know why, but they, they have a bit of an oriental look about them to me. Oh, no, not, no. It's like a Japanese look, I think. Um, especially when they put aside that Japanese painting. I assume that's a Japanese painting. Um, yeah. But, you know, it works. I think it works because it's such a blend of different different things in this place. And we're going to also add some green feature walls. I know some of you guys will cringe at the green because it's like a moss moldy green. But I like it. <laughs> I like it a lot. Uh, so hopefully you guys don't mind it. 
And then this table, the dining table was actually interesting to pick because I didn't want it to be too modern. I wanted it to be kind of rustic, but not old looking. So I tried quite a few different things. And in the end, I figured out that these modern industrial chairs paired with the glass table worked the best. Uh, and I think I kept them mismatched. Do I keep all the chairs mis mismatched like that? I think so. But I, I don't know. I thought they were really nice. Um, or do I match all the chairs in the end? Oh my gosh, I'm changing my mind so much right now. It's always so weird watching back what you do because you're like, sometimes you're like, why did I do that? What was I thinking? Uh, and I kind of wish sometimes I could go back to the other option I originally had. But eh, it's fine. It all works out in the end, I think. Uh, and then, yeah, just putting in some shelves. I do like this apartment building because the windows are nice and big and open and plain. Some of the other apartment buildings, the windows are so small and I don't like the placement of them. And because there's no cheat to move them, it's like, oh, frustrating. But this one works well. Also, I haven't used that industrial standing lamp for a while, that kind of steampunk looking lamp. I do need to do a steampunk build. That has been a requested build for quite some time. So hopefully, hopefully I'll get that done. That would be good. And yeah, just putting in some green greens. I hope you all ate your greens today. It's very important. Oh no, I haven't done that. I was really naughty last night, actually. I had nasi goreng for dinner at like 10 o'clock. That's naughty. That's, it's really bad for you. I don't know. Do you guys know what nasi goreng is in like outside of Australia? Because in Australia, it's these um, like two minute noodles. That's a bit of a freeze then. Uh, these two minute noodle things that have all of these additives and it's so bad for you, but it's so delicious. Oh, I could just eat them all day long. And then, yeah, just putting in plants, decor. Just making this place look lit AF. Lit and fabulous, that means. <laughs> and, oh yeah, on the back wall, I was kind of thinking, what should I put here? But in the end, I thought, you know, because there's no windows on that wall, uh, because the other end of the room is closed off, it doesn't have a window opposite the wall, I thought, let's just open it up with a massive mirror. And that's what we did. So we're going to put a mirror up there. And I actually learnt from watching one of James's videos to lift the mirrors up slightly, which means I don't think the Sims can use them when they've, when they've been lifted up, but from an aesthetic point of view, it looks really nice to just have a bit of space underneath it. So I don't know, you guys might want to use that trick because um, I thought that was quite nice and we'll get, we'll get to that in a second. This is just like a little entrance table, console table, uh, where you could like put your car keys, uh, maybe like throw your shoes under the table, uh, chuck a school bag, handbag there. And yeah, I thought some of these sculptures were a little bit fancy, a little bit more diamond than topaz if you guys watch the LP. So in the end, I just put like a little gas lamp there or lantern rather. And there's a lot of, uh, I use a lot of those paintings from City Living that are kind of split into thirds. I thought they looked really nice. Um, so that should be good. Oh, my phone's going off like crazy. You know, I don't have my notifications turned on for anyone, I don't think, except The Sims. So I get notified when The Sims tweet. Uh, and Kim Cattrall from Sex and the City, Samantha. She is the only woman I have notifications turned on for. Well, anyone. She's awesome. I love her. I love her so much. Uh, what else is happening in this build? Okay, we're just putting some mirrors in. Yeah, pretty standard stuff. We're going to be moving into the bathroom soon. And the toddler room's actually kind of cool uh, in this build because I feel like usually when you do a toddler room, you kind of go for the more mm, crazy, bright colors, really kitty. And 
For this, I decided to make it slightly more organic looking. I imagine that Topaz and Nita would buy their kids like all of the biodegradable nappies and organic cotton and stuff like that. So sorry, my necklace is making a lot of sound here. Uh, and then this is just like a little study nook. So I quite like that space. I think it's quite nice. While I have face cam in this video, why don't I open some snaps? Oh my God, James Turner just snapped me two minutes ago. How is that both empty? You mad? Okay, James has this thing that I find really annoying. He, and he knows it frustrates me. He actually, whenever he drinks a beer, when it's empty, he puts the lid back on top of the beer. And I'm like, don't do that because then people think it's full. Do you guys get me? So now every time he drinks a beer and puts the top on it, he Snapchats me and it frustrates me every, all the time. It's so annoying. Um, who else has been snapping? What have you guys been saying? You guys send a lot of chats, like the blue, the blue, not the, not the red, but they're not so much fun to show. Someone just sent me a black screen. Ooh, the big bagel 27. <gasps> it's a puppy dog. Oh my gosh. That is so, show me its face. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, so cute. Oh, and I also really like these shelves. Uh, these shelves are quite nice, actually. I do like you. I like them. Uh, and I like how they alternate between candle, plant, candle, plant. <laughs> yeah, I just like repetition. And there's the kitchen tiles that I love. So, you know, we're building up the detail now. I think it's coming together. And yeah, I like this. What started off as like a really basic, boring looking apartment now has got a lot of character. So that's good. And uh, yeah, loving these sandy colors. Maybe I'm getting into the sand, the sandy colors for winter. Now that's winter in Australia. That's so sad. Oh no, autumn, autumn. Whew, getting a little bit ahead of myself then. A little bit of a ahead of myself. A little bit ahead. A ahead. Anyways, uh, so this is the main bathroom. We have just like a little toilet behind a half wall, which I thought was kind of nice. And yeah, it's pretty, pretty stocker standard. It's nothing, nothing like crazy right now. Uh, what else is happening? Athena? I bet you this is going to be streaks. I love killing Sims. Oh my gosh, me too. Me too. How are you killing them? Oh my God, she's just locked him in there. Mood. <laughs> oh, wow. That's funny. Kirsty when Sims glitches after the new update. That's not a glitch. Isn't it just you putting a man in a woman's outfit? That's, that's good. That's, that was a new update. Okay, someone's sending me streaks. That's enough Snapchat for now. Right, so just some relaxing candles in that bathroom, and this is going to be the master boudoir. This bedroom, I wanted it to be relaxing and really open, and well, it's a big bedroom, so it needs to be open. But because it was so big, we need to we needed to section it off a little bit. So we're actually going to use a screen in there, and we're going to make this really nice relaxation part of the room where Topaz and Nita have their own. Uh, what do you call them? Yoga mats? Because I thought, oh, they're kind of like into that hippie re relaxed life. Uh, kind of the, the dream life I wish I had. <laughs> I wish I did have that. Uh, I wish I did yoga, but I don't think I've ever really learned how to do it myself. How many of you guys have done yoga? I think um, I've done yoga classes in my final year of school. My friend's mom and my friends, they went to a yoga class together to help her de-stress with all of her study. And they said, oh, Maddie, you should come. So I ended up going to yoga and it was the best. Oh my gosh. I would just come out of there so relaxed because it was relaxing yoga nidra kind of thing and stretching, not, uh, not like a Bikram yoga where it's super hot and strenuous. It was a good time. It's actually really helpful. But in saying that, I never really learned how to do it myself in my own time, except for that thing that you do when you relax, where 
you focus, like you go through your body and you focus on all your body parts. So you start with like your big toe, your second toe, your middle toe, and then you work up to your calf and then your knee and you just focus on them. That's a really, really good uh, relaxation method. Just uh, so you guys know, that's some tips from Deli, Deli Gracie. Deli Gracie. Everyone says Deli Gracie. It's fine. You call me whatever you want. You can call me mommy. You can call me mommy. Comment down below what you would like to call me. You can call me Bob. Nah, don't call me Bob. Bob Pancakes, that's just awkward. Oh, and I also loved using all of the incense in this build. Uh, I don't really use the incense objects enough because I really like incense. Nag Champer is my favorite incense. And I grew up around a lot of it. So I enjoyed putting it into this household because it reminded me a little bit of my home. Uh, but I really need to get some new new Nag Champa because I'm all out, which is kind of annoying. Uh, and then in goes the screens. So yeah, just separating it off, se sectioning it off rather. And, and then we've only got Lamassi's teen room here and she's going to have a uh, artist corner so she's got a couple of easels in there I thought this bed was perfect for her because it's got the Van Gogh Starry Night artwork on it which you know I wonder if that was I mean I suppose it wasn't but it kind of made me thought is that a copyright or licensing thing right there where The Sims has used a super famous artwork obviously they've redrawn it and appropriated it so I guess it's fine but when I first saw that bed I was kind of like can they do that? <laughs> but hey, it's the Sims. They do whatever they want. Uh, kind of reminds me of myself. <clears throat> Kidding. Uh, anyways, so then <laughs> moving on, we are just putting in, yeah, wardrobe. There's got to be somewhere for Lamassi to keep her clothes. Clothes is a big thing in this family. Uh, Barbie and... Yeah, Barbie and the fam have always loved shopping. So clearly she's going to have a wardrobe. And this, you guys, is my little incense holder. It's a paper crane that I bought when I was in Brooklyn, uh, New York, from a little shop there. And I thought it was um, really, really cute. It just holds a single incense stem. So that's nice. And these are my business cards. Isn't this fun having face cam? Because I can show you guys all of my things. This is my business card. Look, it's shiny. Because I like shiny things. It's pretty lit. And then I have a gold stapler because I love gold and transparent colors. Anyways. So now we are almost at the end of this build. <laughs> it's almost over. Uh, but don't worry, there's many more builds to come. Uh, we're just going to put in some toddler beds. These are cute. This is a really, really big room. So it'll be good as the twins age up uh, because soon they'll probably need a desk instead of a doll's house and they'll probably want a little bit more privacy. We could probably actually fit two bedrooms in there, two small bedrooms in the end. We could renovate it a little bit. But for now, I just thought sectioning it off with the same timber screens was fine I like how the beds match the little toy boxes I thought that was really cute and yeah as I said before it's not going to be like a real kitty kid room it doesn't have all of those usual bright colors and patterns in it I mean we're trying that right now but in the end I was like mm. it just doesn't feel like Topaz and Nita to want their kids brought up like that so we go for these more textured kind of wallpapers which I absolutely love uh, they're more rustic, organic looking, and it's just a really nice texture in the game. So I, I use those a lot and we've got block colors. So gray, blue, orange, and red, uh, got to add in the cloud lights because I wish I had cloud lights when I was little. Do any of you guys have cloud, cloud hanging lights? Cause that's sick. Jealous, super jealous, super jelly. Uh, and yeah, then just, just adding it all in, having a great old time, uh, adding in lamps and the little, the little shoes above each bed. I thought that was cute to show their growth. And I think the face cams nearly run out. So I might have to say goodbye right now and you might just have to focus on the video, but that's okay. 
because this was just a trial. This was just for a little bit of fun. Uh, and then, yeah, just adding in cushions, panda couch. Love that panda couch. And bookshelves. I really wanted the bookshelves to be on an angle here, but we couldn't do that because they they come through the wall. So I was like, damn it, have to reverse them or turn them around. Oh, no, the camera's still going. Good, good. Now you're stuck with me. <laughs> Sorry, that was creepy. But yeah, kids room's done. Everything's done. And now we go into the screenshots. So let's check it out. The final product. Do we like it? So here we have the exterior of the apartment. So if you want to download it, that's the building it's in. And here's Topaz just chilling out in his lounge room watching the jet skis zoom past. Uh, I just love that lounge room. I think it's such a nice lounge room. And this looks really lived in. So I'm curious to see what you guys think. Would you live here? Love, love, love those tiles for this house and uh, hints of green there on the walls. There's not a really strict color scheme. Um, it's just a mix of colors. And sometimes when there's a mix, somehow it all harmonizes and goes together. And here's the kids room, which is pretty open. Uh, I love the little toddlers. They're so cute. I still haven't got over the fact we have toddlers in The Sims 4. It's just like, I think it made everyone's year the fact we got toddlers. This is just a bathroom, obviously. I know bathrooms are never that exciting. This toddler, Alchemy, is looking like a really devo right now. Uh, and then we have the beautiful Lamassi sleeping in her bed, uh, getting some Z's in there. And uh, then here's the master bedroom. I do like that separator screen. I haven't haven't used those much, so yeah, that's that's nice. It's nice. It's nice. It's unusual. If you've seen Kath and Kim, Australian TV show, that is brilliant. Uh, it's actually on YouTube, Kath and Kim. You should check it out. Anyways, you guys, that's the end of this. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you are having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. I'll speak to you soon. Thank you.